What's going on today guys? My name's Hayden Crabtree. I'm here today with another whiteboard lesson. Today we're going to be following up a conversation I had off of some Instagram comments the other day on another, uh, another post. Someone had made a post that said your house is not an asset and there were just piles of, of uh, comments listed up saying explain, explain, explain. So uh, I went in and I dropped a comment to explain why a house is not an asset. And I got in um, a back and forth with one guy who, uh, I think he was a stock investor, it seemed like, and um, I had to educate him. It probably looked like we were arguing, but I had to educate him on why a house is not an asset. And I got my gears turning of, okay, a lot of people have probably heard that statement, but how many people actually know why that's true? So I talk about this a little bit in my book, Skip the Flip, but I'm going to do a full uh, deep dive today. It's really not a complicated ideology, mindset, and process, but we're going to go over to make sure you fully understand it. And if you don't understand it after this and you have any more questions, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help you guys out, explain why a house is not an asset uh, traditionally. So the first thing that we need to get into and we need to understand is that something can be uh, both an asset and a liability. And those are the two, you have an asset over here, which is good, and you have a liability over here, which is bad. So one item, let's say this marker, can be an asset and it can also be a liability depending on how we treat it. Okay, so the definition of an asset for a real estate investor and for someone who is seeking wealth, let's define it real quick. So define asset. This is the, the appropriate, if you're seeking wealth and you're seeking financial freedom, this is your definition of an asset. Write it down, remember it, okay? So an asset is something that puts money into, that's the key word, your pocket. And that's what an asset is. So an asset is something that puts money into your pocket. And if we wanted to find what a liability is, which is on the other side, liability. That is gonna be something that takes money out of your pocket. Money out of your pocket. Okay, so let's, let's first go over what can be an asset and what can be a liability. So the main thing we think of is we think of a house. So a house could be an asset or it could be a liability. What, what else could we have? We could have a friend. So a friend could be an asset and a friend could be a liability. We could have a business partner. A business partner could be an asset or a liability. And the list goes on and on and on. What we're talking about here is just an object and how that object either serves us or takes away from us depends on whether it's an asset or a liability. So whenever we think of in terms of a real estate investment, so um, as you know, I like to invest in storage units. My storage units, I invest in them so that every single month after my income comes in, my expenses are paid and I pay my bank, there's leftover money, okay? And that's called cash flow. So that, by definition, if there is leftover cash flow at the end of the month, then that storage facility is an asset for me because that extra money is going to go into my pocket. Now, on the flip side, if I were to buy a storage facility, and again, this applies to houses, if I were to buy a storage facility and it did not make money, the income that came in did not pay for the expenses and the mortgage, and I actually every month had to put money into that storage facility to pay for the bills, then that storage facility that could have been an asset is now a liability. And a lot of that depends on how I buy it, did I buy it right, how do I manage it, all those good details. But here's what you should know is that something that can be an asset can also be a liability, like a storage facility, like a house, like an apartment complex, like a friend, like a business partner, like a parent, like a sibling. All of those things can be assets or liabilities. They can serve you or they can take away from you. So in the comments, whenever this guy was, when all these questions were, how is a, uh, how is a house not an asset? Because everyone's trained traditionally to think, my biggest investment in life is going to be my house. That house is going to appreciate, and over time, that's going to help me build wealth. Well, here's the thing. Every single month, whenever we're living in a house, no matter how big or small it is, if I'm living in that house, that house is not generating income for me, and that house is not putting money into my pocket. In fact, I'm having to put money into the property via insurance, property taxes, repairs, lawn care, 
mortgage, whatever it may be, even if I don't have a mortgage, even if it's debt free, that property is still not going to be an asset for me unless I turn the tables, unless I take it from a liability to an asset by renting it out. Okay, so this is what, this is what real estate investors do. Real estate investors take liabilities, they take houses that people traditionally would live in and put money into, and instead they try and get as many as they can that will pay them every single month creating assets that put money back into your pocket. And I go into this super depth in my book, uh, Skip the Flip. If you guys want a free copy, go to www.haydencrabtree.com forward slash free book. You'll get a PDF copy on me or an audio copy on me as well. Um, but I just really wanted to break this down. If you guys have any questions about this process, it's, it's very, very simple to understand. Does whatever the object that is in question, does it serve you by putting money into your pocket or does it take away from you by becoming a liability and taking money out of your pocket? So next time you make an investment, next time um, you're contemplating your friendship with somebody or a relationship you have or a business uh, partnership, whatever it may be, ask yourself, is this an asset for me in my life or is this a liability? And that should help you make a decision. The name of the game is getting rid of all of your liabilities and collecting as many assets as you can. And that's how you become truly wealthy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting more videos like this every single week. Join my Facebook community and uh, you know, just let me know how I can help you. Again, free book for you guys. And if there's anything I can do for you, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help out. Thanks.